Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Works semi-automatic screwdriver. So stay tuned. A couple of days ago, I was at Lowe's looking for a replacement screwdriver for the one that I use at work. I had one of those little lithium cobalt screwdrivers for years and years and years, and finally someone borrowed it. Somebody dropped it <laughs> at work, but you know, it, it was old and it was time to replace it. So um, I went to Lowe's and you know, after Christmas, I guess a lot of people got those little screwdrivers, those little lithium screwdrivers as gifts because there weren't too many to choose from. There was the, the one by Black & Decker which has the gyro in it where you would you you sort of turn it like this or this and it gyroscopically knows which way you're 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 moving it. It'll start the bit going in that direction which is way too weird for me. I I, I hold I could hold the screwdriver differently um, to begin with so picked up this instead. Now I was looking for something smaller, but you know this is substantially bigger. As a matter of fact, it's almost as big as a drill. But but it has some really neat tricks up its sleeve. So let's take a closer look. So I got this for forty bucks. You could also go to the works.com website and get it for forty dollars or two easy payments of nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. It sounds like it's still as seen on TV. Uh, it might have been an ass seen on TV thing, as a matter of fact. Um, the one thing you need to realize right out of the box about this thing is that this is not a super strong screwdriver. This is for light duty. It's only a 4-volt four, four lithium battery in it, so you cannot expect too much from this. Although it looks big, and it looks like it can handle big jobs, a lot of this space is taken up by something which some people might consider gimmicky. But, um, I, whoops, I, I think it would be kind of handy. Which is why I got this. Because, are you one of those people that lose these little teeny bits all the time? Well, inside this screwdriver is another one of these. It looks like a, a revolver cylinder, doesn't it? <laughs> and um, you get all these bits in here. And inside here, whoops inside here you get a whole nother set go ahead and pop these out right there so it comes with um, 12 bits right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it has a uh, you know one flathead three Phillips two torques what's really weird is it comes with a 10 and a 20 and they left out the 15 torques which kind of sucks then they got a couple of hex in here two square and actually this one's kind of interesting this is like a um, this bit right here is for just starting like a pilot hole so actually that's that's pretty useful but what's neat about this whole thing is it uses standard bits so if the bit that you normally use is not in this kit you could buy a whole bunch and just put the standard bits in there so now to charge, whoops, to charge this thing, it comes with a charger, has a little plug right there, and all you do is put it in that hole there, and then it has a light, it's red, it should come on red when it's charging, it turns green when it's charged, it took quite a few hours, as a matter of fact, I just plugged it in and left it overnight, when I woke up in the morning, it was green, but it does take a while, so let's go ahead and load this up. You know, if you're a gun enthusiast, <laughs> or if you, you have someone looking and you're looking for a gift for them, and you're looking for something that's both a tool and for someone that's a gun enthusiast, this could be the perfect gift because um, this thing loads. Whoops, let me stop hitting the trigger. Look at that. Now, if you notice, it's semi-automatic. And the reason why is because every time I pull this... Why do I keep on hitting the trigger? Every time you pull this back, the cylinder rotates to the next bit and then pushes it up forward. And I'll go ahead and try to do this slow so you can see it loading. And then it pushes it out. So there's small Phillips. There's the next size. There's the big one. <laughs> 
Now if you don't feel like going all the way around, you can just pull it back and rotate it um, to the desired bit. You know, just like you're, you're playing Russian Roulette. <laughs> just pick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh, I just flew a bit out there. So, really neat. Um, really, really neat. So if you're someone who's prone to losing bits, um, you could have, or if you just use like maybe six or five or four bits normally, you could have them all on the ready inside a really cool um, semi-automatic little device. I think it's really cool. So anyway, it only has, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's talk about the downside to this whole thing. It's uh, a lithium, 4 volt maximum lithium battery. Now because it's lithium, it could probably hold the charge for about a year. But um, the downside is it's only 4 volts, so it's only light duty. It also is not variable speed, and it's only one speed. So that's the speed. And that's it. Um, the one thing that I'm going to sacrifice here, going from my old, um, my old drill to this one, is I, I lose the variable speed option. Now let's go ahead and actually try this out. I'm going to go ahead and load up the big bit. And I think I'm going to be pushing what this should do. I'm going to go ahead and screw a uh, wood screw into some wood. And I'll let you see how that does real quick. Okay, so you could hear how that sounds. It sort of struggles a little bit. You could hear it slowing down. So again, it's, it's light duty. So what am I going to be using it for? Well, at work, I'm working on computers, and I'm opening and closing computer cases and taking um, PCI and uh, the new um, PCIe, PCI, you know, type PCIe-X cards in and out. And um, this is perfect for that. You know, I just need a couple of different size Phillips in most cases, and that's all I really need at work. So this, I could keep the, the three Phillips in here, which is what I use 99% of the time. I'll have them all on the ready, all good to go. Everything I do is light duty. So this is just perfect. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try out reverse real quick, see how that does. Now if you notice, it also has a light there. It's a... Uh, somewhat useful. It does sort of help you a little bit. It's kind of very low. It almost misses, if you see what I mean, where the light comes. It's right at where the bit is and no further. So it's barely um, lighting the area. But I guess it can sort of guide you in like an aircraft landing. Well, you know, still it's um, really good. It feels pretty solid too for um, something that I perceive as a little gimmicky. I think, um, you know, it even looks like it has um, Picatinny rails on it. I think they had that in mind. When they designed this, I think they really designed it for the, the gun enthusiast, in in my opinion. There's a little bit of, uh, it, you know, there, I thought this was rubber, but it's not. It's also hard plastic. Everything, there's no rubberized anything. It's all... Uh, well, there is. This this feels a little bit rubbery right here on the back strap. Um, trigger, really wide, big. You could just hold that with two fingers. So, really good. Really good. Let me see if I uh, missed anything as far as um, anything on the specs. No, I really didn't miss anything. So, again, here, I was, I'm not sure if I showed you. Here is where you go from forward. You just move this over this to this direction where it's on the sticking out on the right side and that's going backwards <laughs> that's going backwards if you want to go forward or you know screw in you push it out so it's sticking out on the left side and now you're you're screwing that way <laughs> screwing in in out in out okay enough screwing around make my day. <laughs> I love this thing. It even has a good sound to it, don't it? It really does. Um, I, I almost feel like I'm doing something really wrong if I point the thing at me because it's so gun-like. Um, just cool. Anyway, I give this a 8 out of 10. 
8 out of 10 it loses uh, 2 points. I'm hitting it 1 point because it does not have variable speed and I'm hitting another point because it doesn't have like a second speed. Having just one speed <laughs> going full bore or off is just uh, a little bit too much for, for you know, I, for 40 bucks it should have one or the other at least and also I think they they put a poor choice of bits in there. They could have done a better job you know, just giving you a better selection of bits. So I don't think that's too bad. I think this would make an awesome gift if you could still find them. This was the only one left in the store. Um, you know, just good to have around the house for light duty. And you don't have to worry about losing bits. So. Okay, we're, um... I think this is the last review of 2013. I'll tell you, I'm glad this year's over. Unless you were having a good year. <laughs> I don't know too many people that can say that this has been a good year, at least around me. So I am more than happy to usher out 2013, and I'm looking forward to a really good 2014. Um, I'm going to rub my lucky watch. This is my DreamWork watch that was given to me by somebody um, really special, and that's uh, Godzilla's Love Child. Um, really love it. Check it out. Check it out. See what time it is? <laughs> I, I really like it. And uh, I'm going to consider it my lucky watch unless something really bad happens while I have it on. Uh, it's my lucky watch. Alright, well, um, I'm hoping to get a, a quick New Year's video in, but I can't promise anything. So if I don't, I'm going to go ahead and wish every one of you, every... Uh, viewer, subscriber, and friend, a happy, healthy, and wealthy new year. Take care. Bye.